Excellence Oyster Bay, probably the most expensive Excellence property in their lineup and touted as their flagship resort. But is it really worth the extra costs? Hey everyone, this is Nancy from New Travel Escapes. We have just completed a seven night trip to Excellence Oyster Bay in Jamaica. In this video, we're going to give you our honest review of this resort as well as some tips so that you can decide if this resort is right for you. Excellence Oyster Bay is the crown jewel in the Excellence group of resorts. It is their first resort in Jamaica and often considered their flagship of the collection. EOB is located on the Oyster Bay Peninsula. EOB is rated 4.5 out of 5 on TripAdvisor and 9 out of 10 on Expedia. So going by these numbers, guests really like this resort. On an island where the competition from Couples Resorts and Sandals Resorts is fierce, let's see what you get for your money. If you're new to our channel, welcome. If not, welcome back and thank you again for watching. To give you context, we believe that there is a lack of unbiased travel and resort reviews. So because I also needed to learn a new skill during COVID lockdowns in order to stay sane, we started a channel based on our years of travel experience in order to help people decide where they want to spend their hard earned vacation dollars. We always pay for our own trips and the resorts never know that we make videos about our experience. So with that in mind, let's dive into the good and the bad of our stay at Excellence Oyster Bay. The resort only opened in 2018, so it still feels modern and new. We noticed some small things that needed to be fixed after staying here for a week, but overall the resort was well kept, clean and in good shape. EOB has a more modern design aesthetic and there really is a feeling of luxury and class as you walk through the resort. If you're familiar with the brand, it felt to me like they took a blend between Excellence Al Carmen in the Dominican Republic and Excellence Playa Mujeres in Mexico and kind of mashed them together. I really liked it. Located a 30 to 45 minute drive, depending on traffic, from Sangster International Airport, it's a very handy location just east of the Falmouth Cruise Port. In the past, when we have visited Jamaica, the resorts we chose were almost 90 minutes from the airport, so EOB's location was a nice change for us. The resort does offer transfers from the airport, but there is a surcharge for this unless you book a refundable room directly with the resort. Then provided transfers with Seasons, which is owned by Excellence, are almost always included with your room rate. If you're booking through a larger travel provider like Cheap Caribbeans or Air Canada Vacations or something like that, and it's as a package, they will typically include transfers in the price of the booking but they won't be private transfers. You will need to share with others also going in that same direction. We're working on a separate video telling you all about the top five transfer companies working out of Montego Bay Airport. So hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss that one. If you're opting for a taxi, you should know that there are only two companies licensed to work out of the Montego Bay Airport and they are not cheap. So make sure you agree on a price before you get into the cab. Jamaica is a lovely country to visit and the location of this resort is pretty much perfect. Located on a peninsula, as I mentioned, you get great views of the ocean throughout the resort. It is on the smaller side with just 320 suites and it's also really well spread out. Because of the design, the resort feels peaceful and private even when they're at 100% capacity. The check-in process is very streamlined. When you arrive at the resort, you are greeted by a bellhop who will give you a glass of sparkling wine or rum punch and a cold towel, and then they will tag your bags in order to deliver them to your assigned room. The check-in process was very smooth, as it usually is with Excellence Properties. After our rum punch, it was about 10 minutes until we had our room keys and we were on our way. Our room was ready when we arrived, so we did not have to wait around, but if you arrive, Early, you're welcome to use the facilities and go sit by the pool or enjoy lunch or just a martini or two at the bar. You're also able to do a pre-check-in on the app prior to your arrival. Now we've stayed at several Excellence properties many times over and we find that sometimes the pre-check-in on the app is helpful and other times it makes absolutely no difference at all. So just keep that in mind. As with all Excellence Resort, it is adults only. So that means 18 years of age and older. Excellence typically delivers on a good level of service and the standard of food on offer is up there with some of the best all-inclusives around. When we visited in 2023, we stayed in a junior suite in the main building on the third floor. It is one step above a run of the house, but still an entry-level room, 
and we thought it was a great choice for what we were looking for in this trip. As we step through the lobby, you can see that they are focused on modern luxury. It is a beautiful spot with plenty of seating. It flows seamlessly to the Martini Bar, which is really the hub of the resort. I love that all of the Excellence properties have a main bar centrally located that really become the meeting point all week long. They have a large cocktail menu and make very good drinks. I really like to tell the bartender which spirit I want and let them get creative with it. It's always a fun treat when I can't decide what I'm in the mood for. The Martini Bar seating design flows beautifully to incorporate the outdoor space and then towards the main pool. I found it a really pleasant resort to navigate. The Martini Bar is a hub in the evening and the main pool is where most of the activities are happening all day long. It's not rowdy or wild like some other resorts, but when activities happen, many of them happen here. The main pool is large with a swim up bar, plenty of loungers and umbrellas, as well as in pool loungers and a large selection of loungers that face out towards the ocean. There is good pool service for drinks and snacks, and if you look on top of the pool, you will see X Lounge. X Lounge sits over top of the two restaurants. It has an infinity pool. It overlooks the main pool and out to the ocean. This is a great place to sunbathe with some spectacular views, but there's very little shade up here, so don't forget your hat. It's also a really nice spot for a drink before you head to dinner. Excellence Oyster Bay is an easy resort to go back and forth between the beach and the pool because everything is so close together. A big plus for Excellence Oyster Bay is that we did not find that there was any real chair game here. At the more active part of the pool, chairs got taken up first, as you may expect, but even at 9am there were still chairs left. If you've been to Excellence Riviera Cancun, then you know that finding a chair around the active part of that pool requires getting up at the crack of dawn and even then it can be hit or miss. It was a huge plus for Oyster Bay that during our week-long stay, finding a chair was never an issue. If you're a beach lover, then Jamaica is a good choice overall, but maybe less so at Excellence Oyster Bay. Now let me start by saying that visually the beach is stunning. It's long and it circles a large portion of the resort, but don't let many of the online images fool you. They do some great camera work, but in actuality the beach is very, very narrow. Because it's so narrow, there's not a lot of space on the beach for chairs before you're right into the water. The largest beach spaces are reserved for Excellence Club guests down at the end of the peninsula and they have much wider beach areas. The chairs on the beach area that are closest to the busier part near the main pool get scooped up fast of course, so if that's where you want to spend your day, you're going to want to grab a chair there earlier rather than later. We found the service on the beach to be very slow. Because the beach is so long and narrow, there's a lot of ground for a server to cover between chairs. Most days we opted to grab a seat on the beach close to the bar and we just went and got our own drinks when we felt like it. There seems to be less of a sargassum or seaweed issue here and the resort does a good job of cleaning up what does float in but like everywhere throughout the Caribbean there is still is some sargassum issues. Now that we've talked about the beach and the pool let's talk about some of the resort amenities. The gym facilities were probably up there with some of the best we have ever experienced in a hotel. There is a wide range of equipment, a large number of cardio machines, free weights, machine weights, and plenty of space for doing core work. Water and towels are available too, and I won't be doing it, but if you really want to push yourself, there are personal trainers available for an additional cost. There are included yoga classes and stand-up paddleboard yoga organized by the activities team, as well as different water sports like windsurfers, paddleboards, and kayaks. There are tennis courts, ping pong tables, and snorkeling equipment, so there's always something to do if you like to stay busy. If you'd like to continue your gym routine while on vacation, then the gym here offers everything you could need and then some. We did have some thoughts about some of the activities that may be worth mentioning. We are huge beach volleyball fans. We like to play as often as possible when on vacation but we didn't really get into it on this trip because the beach volleyball court is tucked down the far side of the beach area and no one seems to know it's there. You have to follow the boardwalk way down to the end of the beach and it finally leads to the beach volleyball court. It's nowhere near anything else and no one is over here. 
We didn't see many people using this area at all, all week long. If you come here with a large group of friends, this is a great area because you will have a lot of space to yourselves. Although there are a lot of activities if you want to do them, I wouldn't say that this is an active resort. You can sign out snorkels, paddle boards and kayaks, but again, they are way down the beach out of the way, so we didn't see them getting used like we expected to. Maybe you plan your day to include these activities and that is awesome, but we are usually sitting on our beach chairs looking out at the water, we see someone kayaking, and then we decide to try it for ourselves. We're kind of those monkey see monkey do people. For you planners, it won't be an issue, but for the rest, you need to make a concentrated effort to find the water sports. And I think this might be of many of us because as I said, I never really saw them getting used. Something else I didn't like is this. You can borrow a mask and snorkel from the water sports, but they were strict in a weird way about using them. You can borrow it for about an hour, and if you don't bring it back within an hour, they charge you $40. I understand that in principle because you don't want your equipment to go missing, of course. The water sports staff here seems to double down on this, and they got quite aggressive about timing us. They write down the time we borrow it, and if it's not back within 60 minutes, they charge us. At most other resorts we've been to, they ask if you could please return it in an hour so that others can use the equipment as well. Makes perfect sense. If you come back and no one else wants it, then by all means go out and snorkel some more. No problem. This is not the case here. They were almost threatening that if we brought it back at the 65 minute mark, there would be a room charge. The staff manning the water sports were quite rude and made it so uncomfortable that we didn't bother with it. Next time, I'm just going to bring my own mask and snorkel. I mention this as an example of why we rarely put ourselves in the videos and we never tell the resorts who we are or that we make YouTube videos. If they knew we were going to review our experience with the Excellence Oyster Bay's water sports, I'm fairly certain that they would have treated us differently than they did. I've spent my career in psychology, so I'm well aware it's human nature, just as I'm aware that the experience gets skewed when anonymity is lost. Regardless, it's easy to see that when the resort staff recognizes YouTubers, they behave differently than they would towards a guest who has a different job. This is not a bad thing, it just is what it is. We decided to go a different way for this channel. Maybe someday we'll decide to change it, but at the moment, it feels like there's a lack of unbiased content and we're hoping to fill that gap a bit. There is not a golf course on the property, but there are a couple of courses about 30 minutes drive from the resort. The resort concierge can help you organize some golf if you want to add that in during your stay. The Mele Spa is located on the far end of the resort near the Cielo Bar. There is a wide range of treatments available and most of them include an hydrotherapy circuit. You can see available treatments and pricing on the Excellence app. We went for a massage early on in our week here. I will say right up front that like most resorts, it was expensive, but we really did enjoy it. Not as good as our treatments at Beloved in Mexico, but still very good and for the money it should be. We chose to have our massage first and then did the hydrotherapy afterwards. Just a quick tip, if you're booking a massage on the beach, I suggest booking your preferred time in advance. Do the hydrotherapy first and then time your massage to coincide with sunset. We didn't do it that way, but I would next time. If you want to guarantee a specific time, simply message the spa directly before your trip. You don't need to wait until you arrive to make your spa bookings. Excellence Resorts prides themselves on service and based on our experiences with this collection, it is where they stand well above their competition. They do a great job with training their staff on service standards. There are cultural differences, of course, depending on which country you are visiting, but overall, it is a service that brings us back time and again to Excellence Properties. Although Jamaica does run on island time, everything here was done with a smile and it was rare that I felt like I was putting someone out. This service flowed through the resort from check-in to the spa to the restaurants and around the pool. They did a great job. The resort was very clean and things were well manicured and tidy. We did not see any garbage left lying around, empty glasses were quickly tidied up and tables were always polished. Our room was cleaned twice a day with a deeper clean in the morning and more of a turn down service and towel refresher in the evening. Housekeeping was efficient when cleaning the rooms and overall did a great job. The Excellence Oyster Bay is definitely on the more expensive side when you're comparing it to other Excellence resorts in Mexico and Dominican Republic. Even when compared to its competition in Jamaica, they are commanding a premium. In our opinion, it may or may not be worth that premium, but it entirely depends on what you value in a vacation. 
We will touch on more of that in our comparison videos between the many Excellence Resorts and which resorts do what best and where they may be lacking. Now let's talk about the suites. All of the rooms in the resort are very large, starting at 800 square feet and going up. So no matter what room you choose, you will get a very comfortable and spacious place to experience. We stayed in a Mountain View Room Junior Suite located in the main building, which we loved. We had gorgeous mountain views and honestly, we would book this room again at this resort. The suite has more than enough space for two people and it really is very practically designed. There's a sleeping area that is sectioned off from a couch and a TV by a wooden partition. Off the lounge area is a stunning balcony with a hot tub and a day bed. And these are huge rooms, probably the largest entry level rooms at any of the Excellence properties. This is a quick look at our junior suite that we booked and the rooms are all very similar in layout and design throughout the resort with the differences being in the balconies or terraces and the views unless you're upgrading to the beach houses. If you are sharing a room it may be important to know that the bathrooms are kind of semi-private. There's a glass door separating the water closet and it's frosted glass but it's a fairly open concept bathroom, so just keep that in mind. Depending on who you're traveling with, that might be important to know. I'll put up the list of what standard rooms include, but the highlights are the large shower with rain shower head, double vanities in the bathroom. They provide separate shampoo and conditioner, not that crappy two-in-one stuff. There's a Garmin steamer, not an iron, a very good mini bar, full bottles of alcohol and wine, a room service delivery cupboard, so if you order food to your room, they don't need to come in to deliver it. This is especially nice if you like to order breakfast the night before and have it delivered at a specific time in the morning. If you upgrade to Excellence Club, you add some perks, and to me, the highlights are the upgraded Bulgari toiletries, access to two club lounges, two dedicated club restaurants, the alcohol in the room is a bit of an upgrade, and there are club pools and a private beach area. This beach area is much less narrow than the other beach areas on the property. You also get one hydrotherapy circuit per person per stay included with a club booking. The mini bars in all the rooms are very well stocked with beer, sodas, water and snacks and it's replenished daily. The selection of liquor bottles at the time of this video that are included are vodka, rum and a bottle of wine. All food, snacks, room service and the majority of drinks are included in your all-inclusive package. There are a wide variety of room options available at Excellence Oyster Bay, and with 320 rooms, this resort is a very comfortable size and really easy to navigate. It will not take you long to get the lay of the land. It's a bit smaller than all of the other Excellence properties. We get asked all the time if upgrading to club level is worth it, and to be perfectly honest, it totally depends on the type of vacation we are looking for. If you're familiar with our channel, then you know we are a group of seven adults who have been traveling to all-inclusive resorts for many, many years. Sometimes we travel all together and sometimes it is just two or four of us. For example, if it is just my husband and myself, we will sometimes upgrade to club for increased levels of service and because the club areas are the most conducive to just relaxing. When it is all seven of us or even just four of us, we are much more activity focused and we don't find we use the club amenities enough to warrant paying for it. And to be honest, some of the club inclusions are just not valuable to us at all, so they don't factor into our decision. Excellence Club upgrades start at about $170 per night, more than $1,200 per week per room, so that is not an insignificant amount of money. It's worth giving it some thought to decide if you will actually really use it. I find that the Excellence Resorts have an overwhelming selection of different room options. The range of choice is a bit much considering how similar all of the rooms are, and it does take some time to really understand what you're paying for. We're working on a separate video going into the nitty gritty details of the different suite options. We're trying to break it down and outline what you really get with each upgrade so you can decide where to spend your money. Check that out if you're trying to decide which room to book. The drinks offered at Excellence Oyster Bay are extensive. There is a decent selection of beers from local beers such as Red Stripe to some American favorites. There's also a good range of top shelf liquors on offer from Johnny Walker, Hendrix and Hennessy. It was available at most of the bars. If you're part of the Excellence Club, there are more premium liquor offerings available in the lounges, and that include the likes of Grey Goose and Johnny Walker Black. The only element that you have to pay for is the wine options in some of the restaurants. Bottles of house wine are available as part of your all-inclusive, and they are decent, but there is also a wine list and a resort sommelier if you want to treat yourself to a specific bottle of wine. 
And it is a treat because some of the wines on the wine list were more than three times higher than what we pay at home. With eight restaurants, a sports bar, and a coffee shop available to all guests, and a further two restaurants available to Excellence Club members, there is a great amount of choice when it comes to food. We were a bit surprised at the lack of local cuisine. Caribbean Groove and the Jerk Hut were the only places that really had a local offering, and we found the food at Caribbean Groove to be mediocre, and the Jerk Hut just wasn't very good. I'll put up the restaurants and their cuisine so you have an idea of what the food at Excellence Oyster Bay is like. There is no need to make restaurant reservations with the exception of the hibachi show cooking tables at Spice. There is so much restaurant and bar information that if I go into it here, it's going to make this video much too long. So this is an overview and if you want to go into specific details, we will make a separate video on the restaurants, their menus, bars and beverages at this resort. So stay tuned for that one. Overall, the food is very good for an all-inclusive and it did meet our expectations for being at an excellence property. The restaurants are Spice, which offers Asian cuisine, Chez Isabel, French cuisine, the kitchen table is their buffet restaurant, Caribbean Groove, which is Caribbean cuisine, Jerk Hut, which is Jamaican cuisine, the Lobster House is seafood, and yes, lobster is included as part of your all-inclusive, it's not a separate charge. The Grill is their steakhouse, Oregano is Italian cuisine, Zenith and Magna are their Excellence Club restaurants. Excellence Oyster Bay is a great resort in comparison to the many resorts that we've stayed at. It has a comfortable, classy design with good food, plenty of great drinks, spacious rooms, and a lovely location on a beautiful island. Would we characterize this as their flagship? No. But it is a really strong offering in a great location. You can rarely find Jamaican resorts in the same price range as their Mexican or Dominican counterparts, and because it is Jamaica, you can expect to pay a premium. It's really dependent on what you're looking for in a holiday, how accessible your flights are, and when you're choosing where to book. Having two club restaurants is unique to this property, and at the time of this video, the other Excellence properties have Magna, but not Zenith. A couple of downsides are the service is not as fast as I had hoped for, but we've been to Jamaica before, so we knew going in that Jamaica has a unique and different culture that it's all its own. The food was hit and miss, but definitely more hits than misses, and the coffee shop was probably the best of all of the Excellence properties. The beauty of the all-inclusive is that if something isn't what you want, order something else, and it's no problem. Adjust your expectations to those of an all-inclusive resort and not standalone restaurants, and I don't think that you'll be disappointed in the food or drinks here. We are glad we chose Excellence Oyster Bay for this vacation. Is it better than its Mexican and Dominican counterparts, in our opinion? No, it's not better, but it is a lovely and relaxing resort on a beautiful island that has a unique vibe all its own, and we will definitely come back. Whether you're looking for adventure, romance, or relaxation, this resort has a lot to offer. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and value the type of content that we are creating, please consider subscribing and please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and hit the bell icon for notifications. A huge thank you to new Travel Escapes team member Sarah for doing all the filming on this trip and to Noah for keeping her champagne glass full while she did it. If you're planning a trip to Jamaica, be sure to watch our Montego Bay Airport video as we give you some valuable tips to get you through the airport as quickly as possible. Bye for now, everyone. Have a great day and we'll be back soon with more new travel escapes.